What's up guys? I'm at one of my favorite dive spots here. This is Carver. You guys have seen previous videos of when I floated this. This is probably my favorite dive spot here. Where I find just phones, I find wallets here multiple times, tons of glasses. People will get stuck right at the end over here. I'll show you guys on the drone a little bit. There's a little like whirlpool people will get stuck in and people will try getting out. This is like the end of the float. So everyone's like had a few drinks, really forgetful of their glasses, GoPros, phones, anything like that is always dropped here every time I come here. So I'm sure we're gonna find a lot of stuff. Today is the end of the weekend. It's 92 or three out today and tomorrow and Tuesday is 93, so it's gonna be a really good, some good videos in the, here in the next few weeks. So, oh yeah, and there's a jump spot right here next to me that we'll check. Not many adults jump it, but kids do. So we can see if there's anything right there. We'll, we'll start down here lower and just check it out, just dive around. And then over there is where it gets really deep. It's like probably like 30 feet. No one ever goes down there. It's like always stuff every time I go. It's gonna be a good video, guaranteed. So enjoy guys, like, subscribe if you enjoy. Let me know you guys are watching from and enjoy the dive. Walking back out to put my camera in the car, but man, I just wanted to show you guys. It looks like a, like Hawaii almost, like tropical. Isn't that crazy? Like this is even the dense part, like down lower over there. It's like just ivy all over the place. All right, let's do this. You can tell it's an aspen tree by the way it is. It's pretty neat. Everyone freaks out like right here. So they just panic and lose all their stuff. Look at that. I told you guys we find a bunch of stuff right here. This is the first like stuck in. Oh, You'll freak out right here. Alright, round number two. All right, time to float down the rapids. Let's check out what kind of fishing pole is this. You guys know if that's a nice one? Or is that just like a generic kind? Looks pretty cool. There's like no, no line on it. Eight bearing drive, level set. Nice. I was not expecting that. All right, let me catch my breath and do it again. That was a lot deeper than I thought. See what I mean? We just paddle right here. And that's where I get everything. <laughs> Look at everyone coming down. Second wind of things are gonna be dropped. <laughs> Soon to uh, coming in to stock the river. Clean up a little bit, I guess. God, it feels so good. Clean up the river as best you can, I guess. Surprisingly, there's nothing else popping up. Big group just passed by. So we are probably guaranteed an owner finding no one in this video. That is incredible. Right there too. Check that out. Come on, come on, come on. All natural too. Yeah, I'm just 
we're gonna quite a bit in the rapid a little bit. Like I could search this more and more and probably find way more. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. And then tomorrow doing the full river, so that'll be a great video. I'm sure I'm gonna find a bunch. After this, these hot days in Oregon, people just eat it up. So this dude wanted these buses, so let's re-gift them. Back. <laughs> hey man, can I have a hug? Yeah, go for it, dude. Hey man, thanks a lot. Of course, Appreciate dude. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, of course, dude. Might Enjoy them. Yeah, you have to clean them a little bit, but yeah, they are yeah. cool. They're heavy duty, seems like. Yeah, right? They are pretty cool, man. <laughs> they look good. <laughs> <You're> dope. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You gonna die some more, man? Yeah, see if I can find any more. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright guys, that was an awesome video today. We found a bunch of stuff. That was a blast. As packed as I thought it would be, it's still going just crazy packed. I don't know if you guys can see them back there. There's people going just all day long just packed. So me and yeah, in this um one person had a little like a little tiny miniature boat that like had engines on it. Like it was like a miniature boat. I had best way to put it, it was a miniature boat. And he was like dragging people out of the corner over there that I was telling you about with the inner uh, whirlpool. And so let's get down to the finds we got today. This fishing pole. Tell me if you guys know what kind of this is. Oh, funny enough, we found the top of it later on. I didn't find it, but yeah. So if anyone knows how what kind of pole that is or if it's a good one, let me know. So some shades we got, some poopy ones. And let's look at this. These ones are cool looking. These are probably one of my favorites. And that dude wanted them, so I'm gonna go give them to him really quick after this. We got these little weird ones. I'm not a fan of those. Some Wayfarer kind. Always a good style to have. Glitter. Orange ones. Some lensless. So you can really now see their eyes. These are cool too. They're like wooden. Check that out. And boom, bam. Quite a few broken ones but most of the broken ones are at the rocks and i found a debit card i'm not going to show it just for the person found a bunch of trash so cleaned up the river at the same time which is nice and the best is an iphone and there was ids in it too in fact so we will be able to find the owner so once i get home today i am going to be searching for them and be able to return it to them they're close by they just live up uh, the highway pretty much it looks like so it'll be an easy easy return and i'm sure that person has no idea they're gonna get this back they probably think it's gone for good like and if you lose something in the river you're like that's gone so it's like it's they're gonna be so excited to get that back and it looks freaking brand new look at the screen protector doesn't even look scratched that's yeah i haven't turned it on yet or even tried so when i get home i'm gonna try that out so i hope you guys enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up if you did subscribe since when i hit 20,000, we're gonna be doing giving that away that two-person kit with the uh, briefcase and everything so stay tuned and and have a great summer everyone and i almost forgot the golden ring i found share this video so we could find out the owner because we could find the owner share the video on just facebook or anywhere you can there's initials in this so if anyone knows the initials inside of this ring we'll be able to return it back to you there's a little stamp so i need to get a uh, little magnifying glass and read the stamp see the creator like where it's made and maybe i can reach out to the owner on that way uh that will probably take some time so i don't know if i'll be in this video but i might want to get home and try to see if i can get something going but share the video so we can maybe see if we can find the owner this is 14 karat gold so i'm sure they'll be happy to get it back because i'm sure it's sentimental of some sort i think it's a wedding band or some something because it was dated and everything so hopefully we'll find out on that as well everyone the phone we found i found today online gonna hide everything just for their um sake forearm yeah that's good that'll be safe Sweet. Okay, we are walking the package down to the Dropbox. So it'll be off to Brittany tomorrow morning, which is awesome. Woo! All right, guys, in it goes. And boom. He's here. Shoot, bang. Oh my gosh, I really thought this was lost forever. Very well bubble wrap. Yeah. He said he was going to wrap it up really nice. Yay! Thank you so much! 